What's up and welcome back. I'm John NC and this is part two of the Logic Pro tutorial on MIDI mapping and customizing your note names. So I'm gonna start kind of where we left off minus the drum bus. So you can delete your drum bus that you made from part one. You'll find out why later. But for right now, we don't want any buses. We just want our kit the way we had it and our uh, drummer. But we're gonna have a couple more kits. So first I'm gonna add two more instrument tracks. And this first one I'll make another GGD, get good drums, one kit wonder metal. And this third one will be just the, the logic. And we'll make this one a slightly different color red so you can kind of tell the difference. Something I think I, I uh, messed up before, I'm actually using contact six. When it just says contact, that's not contact five anymore, that's contact six. You probably already knew that, but I just wanted to clarify that and you're gonna want them multi-output 16 by stereo, same thing as the modern and massive. And if you saved your defaults, these will be already in there correctly with your outputs. So I'm just gonna drag and drop my one kit wonder. I'm not gonna rename these, um, but you can if you'd like to. And if this is your first time opening this up, obviously you're gonna need to change this to multi-output advanced. Very important you do that. And on your mixer, make sure all these are routed correctly. There's only eight on this particular one kit wonder. So we're gonna make that many. And one thing that's kind of unique about the one kit wonder metal is that this first track will be the parallel compression so you kind of want to leave that one, and then your second track will be your kick. Okay, so now we have our second kit. Let's talk about the Logic Kit. So for, for the Logic Kit, see I'm kind of in the way, aren't I? For the Logic Kit, first I like to have the uh, Drum Kit Designer, and I'll open that up and find some shells that I like, maybe that one. Maybe that one. And switch it out. So the same place where it says drum kit designer, I'll switch to the sampler multi-output. And within the sampler, you can click the mapping and kind of mess with the velocity or the, the root key that you want a certain note to be on. But I'm just gonna kind of leave that as it is. Let's uh, first get all our tracks right up here. So I'm gonna go all the way to the far left, shift click to the end of the drum track. So we have all the tracks selected down here in our mixer. Then we want to hold command and deselect the tracks that we already have up here. And we're going to right click and create a track for them. And it'll automatically put them in order. And the reason why I like to do that is because I want to change these icons to the uh, actual instruments icon. All right, I'm just gonna do that really quickly. Okay, so now we have all of our tracks with some images. We've got the different kits, different colors, and we've got some MIDI written already, but we won't be able to hear all of our sounds necessarily unless 
we start to adjust the environment. So Command-0 will open that up. And just like before, we want this first cable connected to our GGD. Don't remove. And we'll have a second arrow that pops down here. This is really important. We want to grab that cable. And this is going to be a second cable. We're going to plug it into our 1K Wonder. And we're going to grab even a third cable from this third arrow down here, if logical let me, and plug it into our logic drummer. So we have three different cables going here now. We're going to open up the drummer by double clicking. I'm going to make this window bigger. And I've already named and routed certain notes, and I'll show you how I, how I did this. So first, we did this in, in the mapping, right? I just named these, just like in part one, named all these, and then I did one kit wonder mapped starting at C1 instead of C negative two. So then starting at C1, I have the one kit wonder kit, but you can't hear any of that unless you highlight them all by um, click and holding on the keys and s change the cable number to cable two. Then it'll get the input from cable two, which will be the uh, 1K Wonder. And same thing for our logic kit. We want to have an input from cable three. But also, notice for the logic kit, I put C1 as the output note, and then I just copied directly from their mapping where I thought a good rim shot would be, um, G sharp zero, I guess, and then a regular snare hit, and so on. And then I adjusted the velocities slightly uh, to make it sound what I thought would be kind of normal. But then up here, this is the special part. I wanted to show you guys, you can combine the, uh, different kits together using some notes that maybe you haven't used yet higher up, which is what I've done here. Oh, sorry, right here. So I'm gonna highlight just the shells, and that's good. We want those all on cable one. That'll be our modern and massive kit. And then all of these we want to be routed to cable two. And all of these notes, um, the output note, I'll change to the modern and massive or the 1K wonder output notes respectively. Then, close these out. When I go in to program my beat, I still have all those options down here, but if I wanted to trade something out, maybe like, let's trade out just the kicks and the rim shots, or maybe the logic kit. We can do that really easily. Or stay within our focus mode with our muted notes, just like I showed you in part one. Click this, and then we can program with just seeing our combined kit and nothing else within this window. Or command four for the piano roll, same thing. One more thing I want to show you guys before we close this video out is how I like to run the buses. So instead of just highlighting everything and, and making a drum bus, what I usually like to do is make a separate bus for each instrument. So I'll make a bus for the kicks only. We'll make that one bus one and all the other instruments as well. So I'll just do that really quickly. 
couple things to keep in mind is the um, One Kit Wonder has its own special bus for its parallel compression or effects track, I, um, which it'll be on track one. So I, I like to send a separate bus for that by itself. And just keep in mind, there's no room mic for the logic kit. Um, and the overheads are on track one or aux one rather, whatever it is. Okay. Now we've got some, some buses for our instrument tracks. I missed the hi-hat, apparently. Always double check you've got everything bust. Looks good. So then I like to make parallel compression buses. And the way I like to do that is I'll first make an output for the shells. So this will be shells. But then I'll also make a send on those same three tracks. And I'll have to make them post fader. And I've got them all highlighted to do that. And I just option clicked to make the um, output send go to zero dB. And I'm going to do the same thing for the symbols and the room mics will go to bus nine and we'll make a new send on bus 10. Post fader. And now we have our shell comp track, our symbols, and rooms and our symbol room comp. On these two tracks, we're gonna wanna add uh, a FET compressor, which is just our, our standard Logic Studio FET. Great sounding compressor. And now we're about ready to make some more tracks, first I'm gonna make these orange maybe, so that they're different from the others. And maybe that one should be orange too. So now I have these new aux sends, I wanna change their icon and make sure that they have tracks. So I'll go ahead and create some tracks and change their icon. I'll go ahead and do that really quickly. And there we go. Now we have everything bust out correctly. We've got our compressors. And the only thing I've also added was a low pass, I mean, sorry, a high pass filter on our symbol and room auxes. So now we have everything next to our drummer. But before we uh, kind of finish out here, let me show you one really cool thing so um, your logic session doesn't get really messy. I like to select all of these drums that we made. And if you go to track, create track stack, you wanna make it a summing track. This will sum everything into a folder track, and we're gonna call it drums. And I like to make it a color that I haven't used yet. We'll go with light blue, sure. And close the folder. See now up here and down here, we have collapsed all of our drum tracks into this one single folder so we can play our MIDI. Give ourselves that headroom we need. And listen to the different sounds that we've programmed for that single snare, like the snare rim shot, 
or the snare hit or the snare ghost. Those are just different velocities based off that same snare sound. The snare flam is obviously their, their snare flam on Modern and Massive. But yeah, really cool. I hope this is uh, useful for you guys. And leave a comment if you guys have anything else you'd like to know about. Or see you in the future. Thanks.